post order traversal of a binary tree. So, here is the problem statement for us. List all nodes in the post order traversal of a binary tree. Here we shall have to develop one procedure post order underscore traversal which will take two arguments which finds the post order traversal of all nodes of a given binary tree. So, the binary tree will be given and we are supposed to find out the post order traversal. So, here is the binary tree one sample we have taken here. So, post order means we will be traversing in this way that is a left, right and then root. So, root will come at the last because it is post order traversal. So, if we traverse this respective tree it will be D, E then B because I cannot start from A because I shall have to start from this left subtree. In the left subtree B is the root. So, root will come at the last. So, D, E, B. Then in the right subtree, I cannot start with this C because C is the root here. I will be starting with this left subtree is void. So, I shall be going for right subtree. So, G, F, C at last A will come. So, that should be the respective post order traversal of this given binary tree. So, this particular binary tree has been given as input here and L is written in capital letter. So, it is a variable and that is why this output will be obtained that is a post order traversal of this given binary tree and the form of a list. So, here A is the root. So, A is the root having this left subtree where B is the root. So, B is the root where D is the left child and left node. So, D nil nil E is the right child and left node. So, E nil nil then you shall be coming to this C. C is having this left child as nil and right child as like this. So, it will be coming as nil and right child will be F. F will have the left child G that is the leaf node and right subtree is missing. So, that is why G will have the F will have the right child in nil here. So, in this way this tree has been expressed here and if we give this one as input then it will be the output obtained. So, let us go for one prolog program where we shall explain the post order traversal of a binary tree and the how the outputs are getting obtained. So, here is the demonstration. In this program, we are finding the post order traversal of a given binary tree. So, here is one sample binary tree for us and if we calculate the post order traversal that means the root will be going at the last and left subtree will be traversed and then right subtree will be traversed and then the root will be coming. So, in this case it will be D E B. G, F, then C, then A will be coming at the last. So, that should be the traversal sequence. So, here the same tree has been expressed here. The same tree we have written this one in the same way. So, that is the tree representation in the structure form of this tree. And post order traverse is the respective clause we have written in the query. So, an S will be the required output. So, if we execute this query, I am getting the same that is D, E, B. G F C A. So, that is our post order traversal. So, now let me show you that how the code has been written and what is the logic inherent to it. So, post order traverse T is the input tree and S will be the set output. So, post order traverse T L. So, now we are call, calling this post order traversal here. So, post order traversal if the tree is void then the list will be also containing no element post order traversal t x left right it will produce the list as output so we shall be doing the post order traversal on the left to produce list left we shall do the post order traversal on the right to produce list right and then we shall call this append which will concatenate this list left and then list right to produce list one and as the root will be coming at the last so we are calling append again append is the inbuilt predicate in prolog and which will be concatenating this list one which is formed in the in the earlier clause and then this list one is there and then we are having this x is getting appended at the end to produce the final output and that is the list here and wh which is expected and then atom curse is taking this l and it is producing this s and this s is getting the output is making the output possible so in this way we are we have shown you that how a tree can be
traverse in the post order traversal format and how the outputs can be obtained and how to write the respective code and what is the logic inherent in that particular code. Thanks for watching this video.